I'm Bill Bradley, and I hope you're excited because I'm here today with the man himself, Cake Boss, Buddy Velastro. How we doing, man? Oh, pretty good. How thank, are you doing today? Thank you for having me. I'm so excited you're here. Um, so we got a lot to talk about. We're gonna eat cheesecake. Yep. We're gonna talk about Cake Boss. Here we are. Um, but first, let's get into this uh, Rethink Sweet initiative. So Buddy's doing a new initiative, and uh, why don't you tell us what it's about and how you got into it? Absolutely. Well, you know what? I was I was contacted by um, Whole Art Sweetener Company, and they were explaining to me kind of what their baking blend is, and they were saying, you know, basically it's half the calories of sugar. Being an entrepreneur and kind of thinking, you know, ahead for the future, we get so many requests for whether it's, you know, fat-free or less sugar or, um, you know, gluten-free. So I know that it's it's becoming a very popular topic amongst Americans sure. in general. So I said, why not look into this? Yeah. But again, I'm a guy from New Jersey, so right. I'm a little skeptical, okay. right? Okay. So I was like, all right, so kind of tell me how this works. And they're like, all right, so... Here, like, this is the baking blend, right? Okay. So they're like, if you're doing chocolate chip cookies, mm -hmm. take one, cu one the cup of sugar that you would have put in, instead of a cup, you put in half a cup of the baking blend. Okay. So I said to them, skeptically, well, what's in this magic sugar? Right. Like, what, what are the ingredients? Like, is it all kinds of chemicals and junk? And they said, no, they actually said, it's basically sugar and stevia leaves. So there's no GMOs in it. Okay. And it's made from all natural ingredients. So I was like, all right, time to do the taste test. <laughs> right, right. So made a batch of chocolate chip cookies, which I actually those are them. Yeah, I'm gonna taste them in, in a minute. Second. In a minute. I can't wait. And um, I made them with the regular sugar, and I made them with the baking blend. Okay. Brought them home to my kids and let them do a taste test. And what was the verdict? And my kids couldn't tell which one was which. Really? That's how close it was. I mean, look at even the browning and stuff. They look just like a regular chocolate chip cookie. Looks like a cookie, everyone. So Proof. Um, you know, I said, okay, now let me try it with cheesecake. And I started developing it. And to be honest with you, it took a little bit of practice. Like, with the cheesecake, it wasn't exact one cup to half a cup. Okay. It was actually like 40% of the normal sugar. Oh, okay. And then the icing was like 55% to get, you know, the... These are, these are valuable tips for people who are going to be picking up this sweetener out there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're going to have to play with your recipes and adjust them. Okay. Each recipe by recipe. But the, the truth of the matter is, again, I'm not an advocate for you know not eating sugar. Or right. um, who wants to live in a world where you're never going to have a cupcake again? Or, not me. You know, or a nope. cookie or whatever. But when you can substitute it and it make a healthier choice... Why not? Okay. Why not? So um, you said your kids did the taste test. Yep. Try the cookie we first. Have, you tell okay. me. Cookie you first. Got, you, and you be honest with me and you tell me what you think of that cookie. Okay. I will. And, uh, Brutally just, honest. <laughs> just Brutally a reminder. Honest. If anyone has any comments, questions, send them in to us. Uh, we're a vessel for you. You have questions for the cake boss, let us know. Yep. Uh, so yeah. And if go. you go to also to um, wholeartsweetener.com, there's videos and the recipes and there's actually, because it's a new product, there's a store search so you can find out where you can get it by you. Okay. So. Tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. A good one. Heaven. Uh, not it bad. It tastes good. I mean, it tastes really good. You would never guess that it's half the calories of a regular chocolate chip. Okay. So. Does it taste like diet? I mean, you know, that, no, that was the thing that got me. Honestly, anything that's edible that I make, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. This is really good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so cheesecake. We'll try the cheesecake, oh man. Oh, my gosh. This is like the best segment ever. <laughs> hey, everyone, let's just do this all the time, please. See, everybody loves the baker. That's yeah. it. You know, if you, and this is a good tip, too. If you're getting married, the one appointment you want to go to with your wife is the wedding cake. They feed you cake. You go to the wedding cake appointment. The florist... Send her with a mother. The 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 you know the invitations you don't want to know about them, unless you're cost conscious because then she can blow all the money, man. So then you got to go and watch out. The cheesecake is good. Cheesecake, nice, yeah, right? that's really good. Um, now, what are your tips then for people out there who want to live healthier, who want to make these things and, and use uh, well, healthy? I mean, half the battle is is reducing the sugar by by half. 
you know, um, not only for the calories, but, you know, too much sugar, too much of anything, I think, is 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 not good. You right. know, I, I, yeah, I, I, absolutely. I think everything should be in moderation. Yeah. But uh, another good trick is if you're trying to um, cut butter out of, like, say, a cake. Okay. That's what we would call or refer to as the fat. You could replace a portion of the butter or oil with applesauce or yogurt. Because again, that's the the binding agent and kind of like the the fat to make it moist. So the yogurt will do that, and the the applesauce will do it as well. Whoa! Okay, yeah. so that's cool to know. Um, so whenever I'm making a cake, just throw some applesauce in there. It's you could, be... you could. Well, you would have to cut butter or the oil that you would put in and, and replace it with the applesauce. Another good tip is if you're trying to cut back on flour, you could actually take. Uh, pr- portion of the flour out and put nut flour in okay so say it was a cup of flour yeah take out half a cup put half a cup of flour half a cup of say pistachio flour and it'll not only increase the protein and, and fiber and but the taste is amazing because you're going to get the flavor of the nut in there. now what would you say because like i mean i am i'm really bad at cooking like yep. if i made something i would uh I, I probably would wouldn't need it. I would not give it to you, <laughs> um, for sure. But um, for the people who want to be bosses of their own kitchen at home, sure. what would you say are like the number one tips you want to start baking, you want to start cooking? Well, I mean, with baking, there's a lot of good stuff. I, I give you a lot of like diet tips, but or I don't want to say diet tips. Uh, let's say healthier living tips. And they're fantastic. Like. If I'm making a cheesecake like this, this is the fruit I need for a whole week right here. <laughs> Every serving. Well, I, I, pro- I, 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 and I prompted it up to, you know, I did it a little bit crazier. You could go a little less fruit on there. That's pissed at. I mean, that's Instagram likes, you're getting a million Instagram likes. <laughs> Absolutely, if it's you fantastic. do that. But if you're baking at home, one of the tricks is to know your oven, okay. right? Everybody's oven, like you put it on 350, what I learned, and I learned this the hard way. Because when I wrote my baking books, right, I figured if I did the testing at the bakery, it's kind of cheating. Right. I said, let me go home. Let me work in a, in a home kitchen and work with a home oven. And the first couple of things I baked, they weren't coming out right. So I'm like, you know, that they were burning a little bit. So I put an external thermometer inside and I realized that my oven said 350, but it was really 370. Oh. So I had to adjust my oven at home to be to the right temperature. So my house, it was like 335, 340 was really 350. So you, yeah, so you're more like so cake detective than cake Cake walk. detective, well, you know, a little bit of both. A little you know? CSI, a little, a little, a little side. Fun. I like but, it. But it's like things like that. Um, also too, I always bake chocolate chip cookies one pan at a time in the middle because if you bake it on the top, it burns. If you bake it on the bottom, the bottom burns. Okay. Um, another thing is you should always Try to have your cake batter between 68 and 72 degrees so that it doesn't crown and rise a different way in the oven. I hope you guys are writing these down. (laughs) This is all like gold right here. (laughs) And we have some comments coming in. Lucy says, I love Cake Boss. Oh, thank you. Who doesn't? Um, Alfred says, uh, hi, buddy. What was the first thing you ever baked? First thing I ever baked was, I'll never forget being a little boy and I wanted to go to work with my dad and I used to like stand up on a bucket and he would roll out this dough, which we call pasta frolla, which is like an Italian short dough. Okay. And then he gave me like a heart shape and I, I cut these cookies out and I put all kinds of sprinkles on them and I gave them to my mom. So I was probably like five or six That's years adorable. old. That's adorable. Yeah. Yeah. And then, ever since then... Ever been, since then, now, man, you know... I've how was it, them. Cake? you guys decided Cake Boss, that's the name. How did you become the actual Cake Boss? Well, honestly, when the name came out, I was actually... I didn't like it at first. Really? I really didn't, because um, at the time, I was doing different food challenges and competitions. And sometimes on the shows, it would show me being cocky. Okay. Um, and listen, I am a cocky guy in what I do, but I'm sure. also very humble, and um, I don't forget where I came from, and, and, and I'm, a, I'm a good guy like that. So I didn't. when I heard the name Cake Boss, I was like, oh, man, they're going to make me out to be this jerk, yeah. you know? But then um, the longer I got to know TLC, which is Discovery Channel, they really just wanted me to be me. 
Like, you know, I had to open that door and trust them with me and my family. And, you know, they were like, buddy, just be yourself. And that's what they portrayed. And now I couldn't think of myself as anything other than a cake boss. It's, I mean, I yeah. can't either. Yeah, so. I, it, it worked out. But they were looking to do a show about cakes. Yeah. And somehow they saw me on, on something. And they called me and they said, you know, we're thinking of doing a cake show. What do you think? So I said, you know, I've been thinking about it for a while. I have a great idea. I said, just follow me in my bakery. I have a 100-year-old bakery. Yeah. Crazy Italian family. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. They were like, all right. They said, take a camcorder, run through the bakery, send it out to L.A. And I'll never forget. I sent it to, and I'm still friends with the guy, Andy Strouser. Send it out to him. And he immediately, they called me the next day. They were like, we want you. We, we like we want to sign a contract. Right. With you. And they're like, who's your agent? I'm like, me. You know, I, I was, I mean, we're going back. This was like 2008. And, um, you know, after that, we went on the air. And, wow, we're up to, we've done probably almost 250 episodes. Um, we're just doing another 60 where we just got an order for we're in 220 countries. Wow. Dubbed in 45 languages. That's awesome. Been have you seen... heard the dubs? What do you... I have, I have. What do you think of the dubs? It's pretty funny okay. watching myself in Mandarin or, yeah. you know, in uh, in Spanish or, or Portuguese, uh, Italian. And, you know, it's, 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 been, it's been such an amazing journey for me because I really, I, I'm so blessed in so many different ways. But to know that I've, help the industry that's been so good to me and my family for all these years and inspired um, people to want to go into the industry. You know, so many bakers come to me and are like, you know, people love what we're doing now. Like, people see how hard we work and what we could create and it's because of your show. So, you know, you hear things like that and the, and the show becomes a lot more to me because it's inspiring people or... Um, you've helped people through tough times. You know, how many people say, you know, I was in a hospital getting certain treatments and your show reminded me of my family and I laughed and it made me forget. So um, over the years, it definitely has done a lot for a lot of different people and you just feel great to be part of that. Now, I do um, want to touch on one thing here because um, uh you're a very affable guy, and actually, um, there's a report that came out like about Kitchen Nightmares, and a lot of those restaurants and Kitchen Nightmares fail, but you had a show called Bakery Boss, and yeah. a lot of those bakeries are still around, and I wanted to know um, what's it like hearing that, and also, uh, what do you think maybe you, you told them, or, or how were they able to turn the corner with their bakeries? Well, to be honest with you, um uh, if I do something, I do it from the heart. And um, there was a couple of the bakeries that I went to that, God, honestly, I didn't know were going to make it. Or There was a couple, man, that were on the, the fence that like just weren't going to get fixed. Right. But I gave them advice in a sense where, look, you have to cater to what your needs are. You know, if you're in an area where they want donuts, and you got to make donuts. If they want cakes, you got to make cakes. Um, and if you're doing something wrong, try to fix it. What, you know, you have to be able to look at where the business is. Like, all right, perfect example. Again, working with Whole Earth Sweetener is great, but there's more to the story because I know that that's the future of baking. I'll give you a scenario, right? Okay. Since we're on the internet now, right? It's, yep. it's pretty funny. But if I would have told you guys 20 years ago, that the internet was going to kill retail, you would have probably told me I was crazy. I would. Right? If I Even me, a small bill, I'd say, hey, you're crazy, man. I would say I'm crazy. I was a crazy guy over there. But if you, if, you, know, you think about this is the future of what baking and what people want because the newer generation wants healthy or whatever, well, then you got to cater to them. I mean, if you want to be around. So, again, you adapt to survive. So I'm a survivor. Yeah. And I like to be ahead of the curve. I like to be the trendsetter and okay. telling people what to do. And I think that that's why um, when I gave the advice to the people on Bakery Boss, a lot of them took and it stuck, it stuck and it was good. 
Now, speaking of uh, telling people what to do, uh, we have a, a question from Maxwell. He says, Cake Boss, what's the mistake you see over and over that drives you nuts? I mean, it depends. There's so many things to look at it. I mean, for me, I'm finicky about the small details, okay? I, like, think your workstation has got to be neat. Everything has got to have a home. Like, everything's got to be organized. I'm military. If you come into my closet, okay, you'll see my shirts lined up, color-coordinated. Really? Okay. Like, like, that's the way... I'm obsessive-compulsive. I'm cra- I'll am see a crumb in the corner. So, little things drive me crazy. I think you have to be organized, work neat, and, um, you know, I think that that f- flows into everything else you do. You'll know when somebody... You know, and listen, uh, most successful people, they're a little off. Yeah. They're a little, you know, their mind works a certain way. They're, you know, they got ADD or they're, um, you know, obsessive compulsive because that's the way that, that, that mind is always looking for something or looking to go, you know? Um, so we have another comment coming in from Tony. He asked, buddy, what was the secret to your pizza from the pizza battle? Ah. Can well, you reveal it? <laughs> You get me. You Exclusive gotta, you gotta, you here. Get ready. Get here comes the secret. We put a little potato in the dough. Whoa. So we made a little mashed potato. And I, that comes back from where my mother comes from in in, uh, in Altamura in, in, in Italy. It's a trick that comes from there. Buddy, um, before we go, I think everyone wants to know this question. There's a show out there called Who's the Boss with Tony Danza. <laughs> We got the cake boss. Who is more of the boss, uh, cake boss or Tony Danza? I don't know. I mean, you know what? I've, I've met Tony before. He was a great guy. Okay. So uh, we'll give Tony props. I mean, there's plenty of bosses. You got Tony Danza being a boss. You got me being a boss. You got Bruce Springsteen being a boss, who's another great Jersey guy. Guys, we're here with the cake boss. Um, you can check out Cake Boss on TLC tonight. Yeah, tonight, tonight nine Tuesday o'clock. nights, nine o'clock. Um, Bread and cheesecake. Oh my man. gosh, this is like the best segment ever. <laughs> hey, everyone, let's just do this all the time, please. See, everybody loves the baker. That's yeah. it. You know, if you and this is a good tip too. If you're getting married, the one appointment you want to go to with your wife is the wedding cake. They feed you cake. You go to the wedding cake appointment. The florist, send her with a mother. The, 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 you know, the invitations, you don't want to know about them. Unless you're cost conscious because then she can blow all the money, man. So then you got to go and watch out. The cheesecake is good. Cheesecake? Nice, yeah, right? that's really good. Um, now, what are your tips then for people out there who want to live healthier, who want to make these things and, and use uh, well, healthy? I mean, I mean, half the battle is, is reducing the sugar by, by half. You know, um, not only for the calories, but, you know, too much sugar, too much of anything, I think, is 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 not good. You right. know, I, I, yeah, I mean, it, absolutely. I think everything should be in moderation. Yeah. But uh, another good trick is if you're trying to um, cut butter out of, like, say, a cake. Okay. That's what we would call or refer to as the fat. You could replace a portion of the butter or oil with applesauce or yogurt. Because again, that's the the binding agent and kind of like the the fat to make it moist. So the yogurt will do that, and the the applesauce will do it as well. Whoa! Okay, yeah. so that's cool to know. Um, so whenever I'm making a cake, just throw some applesauce in there. It's you could, be- you could. Well, you would have to cut butter or the oil that you would put in and, and replace it with the applesauce. Another good tip is if you're trying to cut back on flour, you could actually take. Uh, pr- portion of the flour out and put nut flour in okay so say it was a cup of flour yeah take out half a cup put half a cup of flour half a cup of say pistachio flour and it'll not only increase the protein and, and fiber and but the taste is amazing because you're going to get the flavor of the nut in there. now what would you say because like i mean i am i'm really bad at cooking like yep. if i made something i would uh I, I probably would wouldn't need it. I would not give it to you, <laughs> um, for sure. But um, for the people who want to be bosses of their own kitchen at home, sure. what would you say are like the number one tips you want to start baking, you want to start cooking? Well, I mean, with baking, there's a lot of good stuff. I, I gave you a lot of like diet tips, but 
or I don't want to say diet tips, uh, let's say healthier living tips. And they're fantastic. Like if I'm making a cheesecake like this, this is the fruit I need for a whole week right here. <laughs> Every serving. Well, I, I, pro I, 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 and I. Pro I'm Bill Bradley, and I hope you're excited because I'm here today with the man himself, Cake Boss. Buddy Velastro. How we doing, man? Oh, pretty good. How thank, are you doing today? Thank you for having me. I'm so excited you're here. Um, so we got a lot to talk about. We're going to eat cheesecake. Yep. We're going to talk about Cake Boss. Here we are. Um, but first, let's get into this uh, Rethink Sweet initiative. So Buddy's doing a new initiative, and uh, why don't you tell us what it's about and how you got into it? Absolutely. Well, you know what? I was, I was contacted by um, Whole Earth Sweetener Company. And they were explaining to me kind of what their baking blend is. And they were saying, you know, basically it's half the calories of sugar. Being an entrepreneur and kind of thinking, you know, ahead for the future, we get so many requests for whether it's, you know, fat-free or less sugar or, um, you know, gluten-free. So I know that it's, it's becoming a very popular topic amongst Americans sure. in general. So I said, why not look into this? Yeah. But again, I'm a guy from New Jersey, so right. I'm a little skeptical, okay. right? Okay. So I was like, all right, so kind of tell me how this works. And they're like, all right, so here, like this is the baking blend, right? Okay. So they're like, if you're doing chocolate chip cookies, mm -hmm. take one, cu one the cup of sugar that you would have put in instead of a cup. But the, the truth of the matter is, again, I'm not an advocate for, you know, not eating sugar or... Right. Um, who wants to live in a world where you're never going to have a cupcake again or Not me. you know or a nope. cookie or whatever but when you can substitute it and it make a healthier choice why not okay why not so um, you said your kids did the taste test yep try the cookie we first have, you tell okay. me cookie you, you and you be honest with me and you tell me what you think of that cookie okay i will and uh Brutally just, honest. <laughs> just Brutally a reminder, honest. if anyone has any comments, questions, send them in to us. Uh, we're a vessel for you. You have questions for the Cake Boss, let us know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and if go. you go to also to um, wholeartsweetener.com, there's videos and the recipes and there's actually, because it's a new product, there's a store search so you can find out where you can get it by you. Okay. So. Tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. A good one. Heaven. Uh, not it bad. It tastes good. I mean, it tastes really good. You would never guess that it's half the calories of a regular chocolate chip. Okay, so... Does it taste like diet? I mean, you know, that, no, that was the thing that got me. Honestly, anything that's edible that I make, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. This is really good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so cheesecake... Well, you put in half a cup of the baking blend. Okay. So I said to them skeptically well what's in this magic sugar right like what what are the ingredients like is it all kinds of chemicals and junk and they said no they actually said it's basically sugar and stevia leaves so there's no gmos in it okay and it's made from all natural ingredients so i was like all right time to do the taste test <laughs> right, right so made a batch of chocolate chip cookies which actually those are them yeah i'm gonna wait in case them in a minute second. in a minute I can't wait and um I made them with the regular sugar, and I made them with the baking blend. Okay. Brought them home to my kids and let them do a taste test. And what was the verdict? My kids couldn't tell which one was which. Really? That's how close it was. I mean, look at even the browning and stuff. They look just like a regular chocolate chip cookie. Looks like a cookie, everyone. So Proof. Um, you know, I said, okay, now let me try it with cheesecake. And I started developing it. And to be honest with you, it took a little bit of practice, like, with the cheesecake... It wasn't exact one cup to half a cup. Okay. It was actually like 40% of the normal sugar. Oh, okay. And then the icing was like 55% to get, you know, the these sweetness. Are, these are valuable tips for people who are going to be picking up this sweetener out there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're going to have to play with your recipes and adjust them. Okay. Each recipe by recipe.